Hey guys, it's Mick Mick, and here we go, we're at round 50 on Die Rise Zombies Solo. And this is just the amazingness of wall gun weapons at round 50. And no, I, I don't go up and buy some more ammo when I run out, I just take them out, so it won't be that boring. But anyways, uh, first things first, um, I got the Mustang, I have Mule Kick, and I have Mustang Sally's, the Wonder Weapon. The Silicofire and the PDW wall weapon just for points. But I don't really need points since I have 200,000. And number one, the first thing you want to, the most important part of this is to have all five perks. You get that by doing the Nova 6 free perk. But the most important thing is if you get the Who's Who perk, as you see in the elevator, you have to down yourself right away because. Like as soon as the round ends and you get that perk just down yourself revive yourself right away It'll go really fast. It, you probably won't you shouldn't run into any trouble because the round will just be starting and You just don't want who's who and once you get all five perks that Excluding who's who don't don't uh, get any more free perks because obviously you only get who's who and You don't want it num because in solo Who's Who takes the place of Quick Revive, so then you'll go into Who's Who mode, which is like Ghost Form, and you won't be able, you won't be using your Quick Revive, you'll be in that second life that has no Juggernaug, and you have a limited amount of time to revive yourself, or the game's, or not the game's over, or you just, or you're just there with the cult and no perks. But with Quick Revive, you come back with all your perks and your weapons and stuff like that. So, or no, you don't, my bad, you don't come back with your perks, but you come back with your weapons, so that's why Quick Revive's better. Who's who, you come back with your perks and your weapons, but it's way more dangerous, so I recommend just not getting who's who. I, like, especially, especially with Quick Revive, if you have monkeys on, which I did not during this, during this, uh, round 50 attempt, or round 50 gameplay. I did not have monkeys. I don't know why. I just I only had like three downs. And I'll be explained why in a second. But uh, yeah, monkeys with quick revive. You just chuck your monkeys to go try to get back to jug, or just hoard them up and then get back to jug as fast as possible. And okay, so number one, I'm gonna say I'll I'll be reattempting this very soon because I want to do all 50 rounds. Rape train instead of what I did, which was like rounds 20 through 45, something like that. I just sped through them using a gay little, uh, gay little spawn trap thing with a relax and end strategy, or, or whoever founded it. So, number one, this is like I legitimately did rounds uh, 45 and up. And I did all my setups legit, like getting all my perks, I did all that legit. And when I say legit, I mean it's still legit because it's technically just a flaw in their in their uh, programming or whatever you want to call it, in Treyarch's programming, but they're probably going to patch it, I'm guessing. It's not technically a glitch because you're not invincible, you can very you can die just you can just die normally you still have to risk your life for max ammo stuff like that but there's like if you go down to Galvin knuckles the zombies will just keep on spawning through the windows and you'll just be able to kill them with the silico fire because the it's a chain reaction and also the Galvin knuckles area is on a slanted hill so if you shoot it once all the zombies will just not be able to climb up the hill and they'll just die from the poison so I just and that's a really fast way just to get to a higher round and then it's I didn't want to do it but I just want to save time and just get to round 50 and you know just because 50 is just more fun than being at 30s and just waiting to get there but I will reattempt it so I get all those rounds like with rape training strategies but anyway, so you saw that I was up there at, at the rape train that I actually discovered. Well, like, yeah, I, I discovered at 5.20 a.m. on the day the map came out. So that was where the below the PDW room in the basement of the spawn. That's my the Mick Mick Rape Express, and I didn't look that strategy up. But I discovered it, and that's what I did for, for most of the rounds. And then I got, you saw me how I had a 
go down the slide because I was forced into it. So then I came down to Syndicate's Rape Train is what I call it. But I didn't, I never watched Syndicate's video, so I didn't even know his strategy or what he did. So Syndicate really only stays on the top floor, but I was just making it up as I went. And I went more on the bottom floor and stuff like that. Which brings me to the next thing, which is I'll be doing a co-op, and I, I think the best co-op strategy for this map might be where one guy rape trains on the bottom floor of this building, and then the other guy rape trains through that floor. And then, yeah, that's probably the best strategy. You can probably combine hordes with your partner and then take them all out with the soliquifier. Which is, I, I, I gotta do that strategy. I'll post it as soon as I do it. Because I think that might be the key to co-op, to two-player co-op high rounds. And otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys. I die at round 52 just from natural causes with uh, with quick revive, and I did only have like two downs, including my very last down with when I come up from quick revive. So I mean, that's pretty good. I did like rounds one through twenty. I did, uh, I did normally with the training strategies, and I took a lot of time setting up. I took a lot of time getting my Silicifier, my pack a punch, my pack a punch Colts, and things like that. I built the trap, which I didn't really need, but I still built it. So I mean, you don't really need the trap for this strategy unless you want to take a quick exit to the power building. But, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I'm Mick Mick and I'm out.
You saved me. I, uh, I had it all in hand. Ugh! 